Happy New Year! And of course, let's not forget, every New Year means GSSR. And of course, now, in NA's server, our GSSR choices are basically class-based and limited pool. Basically, some consider it to be the best type of choice by this point because the future ones aren't as easy to choose from or aren't class specific. For us to decide what our banner will be, we will basically be doing points, point system to every choice banner. Basically, if they're a dupe or something that I really, really do not want to have, they're a minus point. If I really, really want them, or they're very necessary, essential, or pretty good to have, it's a plus one. If you're indifferent to them, it's a zero. Basically, your card counting. It's easy to do that. Saber class. Strictly speaking, for me, Saber class has always been my most, my lowest tiered. I always ignore it. I am basically indifferent to a lot of sabers. So, Sigurd. I already have Sigurd. Minus one. Ryogi Shiki, indifferent. Arthur? Eh. Okita, I have her already. And I don't want any more NP levels. She's not a waifu for me. Benny Enma? Eh. Musashi? She's pretty good. She's not... I'm thinking if a DPS, a, a single target DPS, is that highly necessary, specifically of her caliber, but she's still really nice to have. It's a plus one. Nero Bride, she's, she's so good, I'm going to give her a plus two. And of course, Astolfo, eh. So, in that case, we have a plus one point for Saber class. Archer class. Whew. Really nice choices. So, Ishtar, it's a plus one. Ishtar is basically better than Gilgamesh in terms of AoE DPS, even against servants or even against those that are weak to Enuma Elish. But of course, if I get her, she's still NP1 compared to my presently NP3 Gilgamesh. But she's still a plus one for me. Squirtoria? For me, she's indifferent. She's good, but I don't want to have her that badly. Moriarty? He's cool and all, but out of the whole Archer roster, he's weak as hell. He eats three bronze materials in a lot. Minus one for him. Gilgamesh, a plus one. Of course. Super Orion, now that's something of a single target killer. Basically the best solo servant. That's why I have mildly considered Musashi, but after seeing Super Orion, plus one already there. And of course, Jarcher. Now that's what I call a really, really good Castoria Looper in the future. That's a plus one as well. Actually, let's add another plus one for Gilgamesh. I'm not going to tell you why yet. And of course, totaling that, four points for Archer class. Lancer. Brynhildr. Eh. Skaha. Eh. Tamamo Shark. Uh, Arash Kigal, even though she's a really really good buster looper in the future, I think I'm going to have to pass. So in other words, Lancer for me, a zero. Huh. Basically lower than, my, than the Saber banner for me. Rider class, Lolly Vinci. If I remember correctly, she's a really, really good looper. That's a plus one, of course. Reigns? After her buff, she's basically a side grade to waver. And of course, you can't have too many wavers, so that's a plus one as well. Ivan. Hmm. There's so many AoE 
writers already that are really really good and he's not adding anything new to the occasion. So it's a zero. Made altar or malter? I already have her. I don't want her NP NP level, so minus one. And Iskander, a zero. I'm not much of a fate zero fan. Add that all up, and Ryder has a plus one. Caster banner. <laughs> if you have watched every other GSSR video that I have pulled out, every single one of those choices were primed for me to get a chance to get my Waver, my Scotty, my Merlin, and my Tamamo. And now that I have all four of them, not so much. Skadi, a minus one. Chikibu is a zero. Ilya is also a zero. Da Vinci is also a zero. Nerocaster is a zero. Of course, I'd also love to have Nerocaster. Times changed. I have so many AoE casters now. And Merlin is another dupe. A minus one again. So caster class. Minus two. <laughs> Basically, there's no more reason for me to ever go for caster. Assassin class. Gramps, the coolness factor of him is basically the only reason that I would like him. But it's not enough for me to get him in terms of gameplay. So it's a zero. MHX, a zero. Semiramis, Cleopatra, and Shuten are really really good AoE for their specific class. But the problem is, now I have Grey, meaning I no longer need AoE Assassins. And Shuten is no longer a waifu target for me. So, zero for all three of them. Kama, here's the thing about Kama. She's so close to being a waifu target. She's a redrop servant. She also has three modes that offer three different body types for all fetishes involved. And of course, finally, really really cool gimmick and design. Unfortunately, she didn't become a waifu target specifically because of her animations and sprite works. Not that it's bad by the way, it's because the playable Kama, the playable Kama didn't have the beast skin. The white and purple heavy themes of her final form with a halo, it was hornless, it didn't have that tacky 3D cylinder of a weapon. And of course, not having that version means you don't get the awesome clone attack animations of Beast 4. I still like her, just not enough for her to be a waifu target so a plus one for her so basically for assassin class that's plus one okay berserker class we're going to the meat of things god juna is basically in my opinion a plus two he's basically the best farmer out there especially now that buster looping is as formidable as arts looping if not better. As for Kintoki, I remember someone saying that single target NPs in the future are getting some love specifically because there are now farming nodes that are basically has a solo enemy, sometimes in the middle just to, uh, to prevent you from fully looping it fully. So I would actually like to have a single target Zerk that has a self charge. So, Kintok is a plus one. Raiko also has. is basically a plus one. Even though she's basically. outclassed now by Gajuna, she's still one of the more formidable Berserker farmers out there. Just not first and second place. Ijikata. It's a minus one. MHXA, I'm indifferent to her, zero. And of course, Zerk Sashi. 
she's one of the best Castoria loopers out there. A Berserker with arts and with really good NP gain. A plus two there. So six minus one equals five. Right now, Berserker is at the top of the point system. Now we're at the Ruler Avenger class. Spishtar is a plus two. She's basically the very rival of Gajuna, if not even better, because Spishtar can both be served on Buster Looping or R Looping, or even for now for NA, Quick Looping. Very flexible. So she's a plus two. Amakusa, I'm indifferent. Jolter is... I'm also indifferent to her. Holmes, indifferent. King Shi Huang Di. He used to be one of the best solos out there. But considering Super Orion exists, he's no longer as hot or as necessary for me. A zero. The Count of Monte Cristo. A plus one there. I would actually like to have him specifically for I have Scotty. That's just it. As for Avenger Nobu, Indifference, and of course, Bunitoria, also Indifferent. So basically that's three points for Ruler Avenger. And last but not least, Alter Ego Moon Cancer and Foreigner Banner, Abigail a zero. Kiara, I already have her and I don't want any more NP levels of her, a minus one. BB, indifferent, I mean, it's a zero. Okusai, I already have her at NP5, that's a minus one. King Protea, a zero. Melt release, a zero as well. And Okitan, a zero. So this banner is a minus two. And now that we have all points tallied, the banner that wins is... Archer. Of fucking course it's Archer. I need Gilgamesh at NP5. You think Berserker won? Hell no. I need Gilgamesh at NP5. I, I tricked you. I fooled you. The points really didn't matter. So anyway, let's roll up the Archer GSSR banner. Yes, I'm going for Archer class. If you have remembered the point system that I did for Archer class, that's basically it. That's my that's my want. There's only two servers that I do not want. Although now that I think about it, Ishtar isn't looking as hot anymore considering I have Gilgamesh at a higher level. At a higher NP level. So an NP1 Ishtar might not be as good of a choice. When I have Gilgamesh at least NP3, is this already it? No. 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 I got the minus one. I didn't even get the zero. I'm remembering the past GSSR that I have pulled. Whenever I didn't get my target, I got either the second best thing or indifference. This is the first time I got something that I really, really did not want. It's not a dupe, of course, but it's still someone that I didn't want. Well, you win some, you lose some. All that I can hope now is usually GSSRs proc their guaranteed SSR at the very last portion of the roll so I'm hoping for a fact that I'm still going to get 
another gold archer later on along the line. I highly doubt though. I highly doubt. You know, if you're going to let me down, FGO, you might as well have done it in the in the final portions of this role. Now, I have to keep hoping. Don't give me hope. Hope is always painful when it never happens. You know, at the very least, give me a kaleidoscope, a black grail. Come on, that's that's basically how this how this video has evolved into, hoping for something better than my failure of an SSR proc. Damn it! Nope, it's just Moriarty. You know, I like you in Shinjuku, but you're neither a target nor your gameplay is any good. Well, guys! This is the GSSR for for this new year. Is, is this a sign? Is this a sign for the entire year? Hmm? Is this a sign for things to come? Is this going to affect my Gilgamesh roles, my Castoria roles, and my Ibuki roles? And my future anniversary GSSR roles? I hope not. <sighs> Well, guys, you win some, you lose some. I won hard on the last GSSR getting Merlin. And now... I got the biggest loss in my GSSR history. See you in the next one.